morning everyone. I have been having breakfast and doing school. I've been working, I've done three labels. I got four edits in today, like old labels that are updated for a new run. One of them's new, but it's, that one's based on a template, so it's fairly easy swapping out the art and the text. Now I need to go help my husband get a massive tool chest off of our porch and down into my car so he can drive it to the garage. And then I can have my car to take us out, enjoy this weather, which is gonna be 60 degrees, crazy. I don't think it'll get up to that while we're out there, but still it's already in the upper 50s. We are going to walk a bit. I promised Sebastian a Starbucks lunch because I've been saving up our stars and he can get a free lunch box. And then, I don't know, we might go to the dollar store or we might go to the thrift store. We'll have to figure it out. We are out on a walk. As you saw, we went in the dollar store for the first time since the holidays because we've been waiting for the positivity rate in our county to drop under 10. It is in the 8%. So we went in. We scored a ton of puzzles that we will save. I might do one of them, maybe two, once we clean up the perler beads, but we're going to mostly save them for May. So last time my husband did not do any puzzles and I was scrambling just to finish one. Oh, hold on guys, I need two hands to do this. Okay, we have finished making to the playground. Yeah, there's not really good swings here. It's just a playground. They are gonna stop at some playgrounds while we walk this trail. But yeah, we went to the dollar store just cause I promised Sebastian a lunchbox at Starbucks because we had saved up all our stars to get it for free. And the best Starbucks for eating is the one we went to that has an outdoor patio because none of the Starbucks in our area have dine and eating and not that we would do it. Um, Just laugh, babe. It's a little hard for them to get around because there's so much snow and ice. Ew. <laughs> He's, struggling. He didn't wear his snow boots. <sighs> so after our walk, they want to go to the first store, but we'll have to watch the time. It's probably already two. But I was really happy to get to go into the dollar store, which is right by that Starbucks. So as I said, as I said, there was, no, it's dry, but you gotta be careful not to fall at the end. We got all sorts of stuff. I'll show you later. inside out and put them in the wash yeah. but I figured I could show you guys what we got from the dollar store in the first one okay I just flipped you around because I kept looking at the wrong spot let's do thrift store first because they want their stuff but first of all this is the first time I've gotten a stuffy from the thrift store it is magic carp he's gonna go in a baggie after he's Lysoled and he'll be tied up in there for as long as it takes to kill lice 
That's not saying he has it. Sorry, don't mean to offend you, Magikarp. But just in case, so we will get him once he comes out of quarantine. Be sure to be make sure to be nice to Magikarp. This little jewelry holder, very needed. So motivation to finally clean the top of my dresser. Got spots for rings and necklaces and bracelets and stuff. He was already in it. This was four dollars. Sebastian was this. He was 50% off of four, so he was two dollars. He is missing a wheel, and they kindly showed us that. But Sebastian said, "Oh, he's missing two wheels." <laughs> He said he wanted it anyway. We can always donate it again. No, I am not going well, ever. I don't know what is going on with him. It's going to take some work to get him out because it looks like it's all folded the wrong way. Oh, I'm going to cut him. Just something like that. Yeah, he can't really drive, but at least he can be in robot form here. I don't know how he's supposed to stay down there. Here, take your stuff. He also got a boulder. I broke a nail trying to convert it. He goes like this. I don't know if he's supposed to have something on the back that's missing. It seems like he is, but it's not there now. There you go, bud. He was. 350, but he was 50% off. Check that in this book. Looks like two mics. I have no idea what it's about. So, an alien sent to study Earth. And I got two things. Oh, oh. I got this shirt. Oh, bye. There's the back. Can you be quiet, please? This is by Maurice's, what's it say, small? Oh, really yeah, but I love this kind of top in the summer. And I have a shirt just like this from H&M that I wore constantly, but it got stained, I think for coffee or baby bar or something, and I just couldn't wear it anymore. Finally had to get rid of it. Uh, it's a little big, so I might have to stitch up the straps if they're too low. But, yeah. I'm really excited. It's just like the one I had, except the straps aren't adjustable and it has these little, I guess there's just a tie, but this one was probably way more expensive because Mama, it is top shop. How do I Sebastian, do please don't interrupt. Please don't interrupt. I don't know. I wouldn't have got it, baby. All right, so here is what we got from the dollar store. They each got a snack, which they already ate. It was some dehydrated fruits. Please take those in the playroom. Sebastian wanted more glow stick things, so we got this combo pack. Everything's a dollar. I needed a new jar for the seashells I collect at the beach. Sebastian got a little monster truck. We already opened it up. And he has a ramp. He told me that he can hold his ramp like that. We needed more chip clips, so I got those. I got this to hold some of my craft supplies downstairs. We'll see how cheaply made it is, but potentially could be good. Sebastian chose this puzzle. Got it. I chose a few puzzles for the beach and potentially beforehand. These are the ones I chose. Fruits. Skulls and flowers. Jack chose to, he's probably gonna stay for the beach. He chose a barbecue and some autumn leaves with like a beautiful Japanese look going on. This is from the monster truck. Um, I have absolutely no idea why we have batteries. I think somebody else was buying those and we ended up buying them. I didn't buy batteries, but now we have them. Sebastian got the one he's missing out of this collection of six transformers. They're just little figurines. So he is very excited to have that. Hold on, buddy. 
Here's his card. Well, no, it's not a card, but it has all of them on it. And here's the final one that he's missing. There you go. Megatron. I get, I have all of them. All right, well, that's everything we got. Thank you for watching this little part. I'm gonna clean up and we need to do a short quiet time. Time. Ziggy is there. My husband's in the garage as usual. Sebastian is getting ready. Jax is in there getting ready. So it's 9 10. Everybody is making their way towards bedtime. Uh, oh, I'm wearing one of my size medium original shirts. I think I, I don't know what I said, but I may or may not have talked about this. I'm sorry if I repeat myself. I was totally mistaken about it saying American Apparel. That is my brewery hoodie for the brewery I work Mom, for. Mom, why don't you get me short? This is, because it's warm today. Yeah. This has the brand of the shirt it is, Instant Message. So I don't know why my new ones say medium, but are exactly the same as the large. I still want to get more and it's a little nerve wracking. I don't know what size I will get but I will cross that bridge when I get to it. Anyway, this morning we got up and had breakfast. I was doing my Korean lesson. I am on, I think day 586 in a row. I still know very little, but I love doing it. I feel like it stretches my brain every day. And then we did, I did work. I, I had four. I had four labels come in. Yeah, play in there. But it should be done in a minute. You're stressing Ziggy out, dude. Play in there. <laughs> I had four labels come in. I got three of them done. One of them was waiting on the final artwork, so I saved that one, and we decided to head out. I promised Sebastian a lunchbox, and. I was like, well, if we're gonna be over there, we can go to the dollar store, but everybody also wanted to go to the thrift store. They have two branches that I go to. There's a little one near me and a larger one, one town over. I was like, okay, the numbers are staying under 10%. They're at eight. So we can go to the little one, see how it goes. If it doesn't seem like people are being unsafe, then we can potentially go to the big one sometime soon. So Jax is really pushing for the thrift store. Sebastian is really pushing for it. I preferred the dollar store because there was something I needed from there, the little jar, and I wanted to check the puzzles. But I ended up saying, you know what, let's just do it all. I told them thrift store. Jax did not want to walk. He's like, do I have to walk with you if we're going? I'm like, yes, this is all in one, one big thing. So he resigned himself to it and I resigned myself to a short walk because that's all he'll do without whining. So we headed out and we first went to, please don't play out here, it's stressing Ziggy out that he can't be out there with you. First we went to the Starbucks and I actually went in and ordered because that one tends to not really accurately show the food it has, especially the lunch boxes. 
and it's been so long since I've ordered in a Starbucks that I felt like my brain couldn't even function like trying to save the drink in the right order and all I wanted was an iced Americano with half caffeine but now I'm gonna say half caffeine if I order in person instead of through my app because I said half calf and I got an Americano with half and half so you have your mask on half calf and just put in half and half and didn't even blink an eye, just made a new one. I'm like, I'm so sorry that you couldn't hear me, right? I mean, what can you do? She, it seemed like it happened a lot. It's hard to hear. But yeah, we had a quick light lunch outside. We went to that one just because they have a, a outdoor patio with a bunch of tables. Our normal one has one tiny table right out front. People pass within six feet of you, so it's not ideal if you're gonna be eating a whole meal. But we did that. It was a little chilly and windy because we were kind of shady, but it turned out to be a beautiful day, of over 60. The sun was so warm and when the windows blocked, it was just heaven. We walked from the shopping center to a neighborhood that Jax hadn't walked with us through, but we used to do that one quite a bit because it has like the potential to go to three different playgrounds. So we took the shorter loop, which takes us past two. The first one, they didn't really do too much on. It's like a really, really tall, like big kid playground. And even Jackson's like a little, he's always been my tentative one when it comes to physical things. So they didn't really do much on that. So I'm like, well, let's hurry on so you don't waste up all your time. I wanted to leave and get to the car. Like I wanted to leave the, the playgrounds by two. Because time was going so fast, I had already spent time helping my husband getting his toolbox down the steps to my car so we could get to the garage and all the work and stuff. So like time had been going on, it would have been nice to leave more like 11, but it's fine. It's just pushed the school day late for Jax, but I think he was okay with it. He just kind of sprinkled in iPad time in between his studies and finished at dinner time. But yeah, we... We played at the second playground for a little bit, but they were just so excited to go to the first store that we headed back on our walk and walked back to the car. Drove to the thrift store and yeah, just their standard. At first I didn't think anything was gonna come of it, but I actually ended up finding those two transformers. One of them is missing like the digger piece and the other is missing two wheels, but you still like them, right? Yeah, but mama, can I have you? Did you have juice? Today. Uh, yes, you had apple juice at Starbucks. But can I brush my teeth? Not yet, so you need to have to brush your teeth. I'm almost done and I'll help you, okay? Can I see a I have no idea, babe. Why don't you go choose your toothbrush and your toothpaste and I'll help you in a minute. Yeah. So he found those right at the last moment and Jax found a book and a Pokemon stuffed animals I showed you. There's actually a Bulbasaur, a little Bulbasaur, but he was like mangled and re very badly. <laughs> like not even the right shape anymore. So we just went with the magic carp. And I found two shirts as I showed you. I tried them on and I really like them. The Lavender one is borderline too long of straps, but I would always wear something under it, so it might not be a big deal. I'll have to just like wear it once when the weather's warmer and make my decision. But yeah, when we got back, it was already a little after three, like maybe through 10, 315, and it was kind of like we would have had to rush straight up to a quiet time. I wanted to sort through everything we got and get the lice all out, clean everything. And Sebastian wanted to play a little bit, so I was like, okay, no quiet time. He was feeling it. He was really tired. Okay, I'm gonna get it in a minute. I'm almost done. I know, I'm gonna get it in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna speed this up. He was really tired. I did my last label while he watched his normal quiet time show downstairs. He was feeling it. And then after, like before dinner and after dinner, he was nuts. Just the standard for no quiet time but we ordered tacos because I still was craving them and I know Jack will be craving it so tomorrow is probably going to be soup night and tonight I have to put in our Christmas 
Christmas order. What? Groceries, Stephanie, groceries. I have cake. Well, they can't see the picture. Um. I think I've shown people that before. It's a picture I drew. Drew? Yeah. this Park. Well, I, they can see it with the bathroom behind it. Oh, thanks for the glow stick. That helps. Okay, they saw it. Let me say goodnight to everybody. Yeah. yeah, I need to go do that. I've already been on Animal Crossing a little bit after dinner. Just trying to get Muffy to ask to leave. But it's not happening. She's it's everybody else. So, <laughs> after about 14 tries, I'm going to stop on that for now because it's giving me a headache. Maybe I'll try tomorrow. And yeah, that's it. Singy so stuck with me because my husband is still out there. And oh, we have an update. The governor of Virginia decided to lower the curfew, the alcohol purchase curfew from 10 p.m. to midnight. I guess I don't know if you consider that lower raise. He's removing the curfew. We had a just like a blanket curfew of between midnight and 5 a.m. Like nobody's supposed to be out for, except for, I see you're talking over me, except for essential reasons. So that is gone. Outdoor gatherings can go up to 25 from 10. And I think outdoor event venues, 30% capacity or up to 1,000 from 250. So those are our updates because the numbers are coming back down. Okay, that we're basically at where the summer peak was with that first wave. I don't know, is that the second wave? <laughs> I don't know how many waves we've had. It's sad that that's now like, oh, phew, we're so much better. And it was horrible in the summer. Nope, you gotta wait one more minute. All right, good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Please be safe and don't forget to wash your hands.